and welcome back to the Paul Dolden Details channel and welcome back, finally, back in the Pratt Cave where we belong. Now this video, this video has been a long time coming. Uh, not the actual product, but the brand. The one comment I get made mostly on my videos, in all the videos I've done, I've been doing this for quite some time now, is Paul, when you're gonna feature Built Hamber on your channel? Why don't you feature it? Why are you mucking around with all these different brands? Why don't we see Built Hamber on the channel? For the simple fact is, I have been working through a backlog of products. Now I do work with several different brands, I admit, but it just didn't happen, it never happened, I don't know why. And I have used it before, I've used Built Hamber, don't get me wrong, I've used it. Just not on social media, just not on YouTube or anywhere else. I did it years ago, very, very good. So we're gonna put some wrongs right in this video. So what have I got for you? Well, nothing here, because we actually used the products off the back of Paul's van, Paul Detailing Reviews. Once again, we're back to the Mazda MX-5 place. I'll put a link in the description underneath where this place is. Um, spent a whole day there, and I thought, you know what? Let's just showcase at least two products. So that's what you're gonna get in this video, is two products. There's Touchless and there's Traceless. Lots of videos on the interweb about this stuff already. So yeah, we are kind of playing catch up. And I've been very ill, like proper ill this time and knocked out. And I've got to say, I shot this video. I was sweating, I had a fever and I didn't feel very well. And I fell asleep pretty much all the way home. And Paul can vouch for that because I was gone. Anyway, pour yourself a nice cup of tea, get a coffee or get something stronger. If it's in the evening, you've got a bag of crisps on the go, go and get something stronger. Get a cold one from the fridge. That's what you really need for this video. And let's roll it. So here we go then, the pensioner's favourite Nissan Note. It's either one of these or a Honda Jazz. They seem to be plaguing our roads, causing all sorts of congestion problems and probably lots and lots of accidents. Built hammer, touchless. Sugar-based pre-wash, by the way, this is. So we have 2% in the pump sprayer. What does 2% mean? Well, it means around 10, maybe 12 mil if you're going to split hairs. I can't afford to split hairs topped up to the one litre mark on my one and a half litre IK sprayer. Not a lot of product. I wasn't expecting a lot, to be honest with you. Make sure you get a nice even coat. So once you've allowed this to dwell for up to five minutes, don't let it dry out obviously, you're going to rinse it off. So we're going to do one half like this and then on the other half of the car we're going to apply it with the snow foam cannon. Take a look at the grime line as I'm working my way along the car. So we are going to allow this to dry naturally. We're not going to attack this with any QDs, any drying towels. Just going to let this just dry out. I'm going to move on to the other side. Hmm, bit of a difference. So 200 mil or 250 mil, if it's really bad, of the built hamber touchless, popped up to the line in the snow foam cannon. The one thing I did notice about this, yes, it's thick, but it's not what I call a dry foam. This will actually cling and start breaking down the crud. Yes, that's great. That's another thumbnail. Well done, Paul. Same thing, five minutes passes, and then you start to rinse. Now, though the sun is out, there's no warmth to it. We're still in March. It's not going to be very warm. Quite difficult to see what it's actually doing. I mean, I could see it from where I was standing, but it is doing a pretty good job, this stuff. But does it have the edge, or is it the other side which has the edge, using it in a pump sprayer? 
you'd stick around to the end of the video for the chatty bits in back in the Pratt Cave. So this is the side I actually hit with the lance. This is starting to dry out. Wow, that's really um, defect free. Not. Let's have a little bit of a swipe test. Well, I couldn't see anything on the cloth. Apart from lots and lots of oxidized paint and looking pretty clean. Is it touchless though? Not quite. However, on the other side, it's wow. Yeah, that done a really good job. Next up is traceless. This is the glass cleaner. Now you can use the waffle uh, towel, that, which I believe is included. I um, actually used a auto bright towel because I didn't find the other one until after I'd done the video because it was at the bottom of the box. Oh dear. First impressions are, oh, wow. Well, um, yeah. It's, it's some sort of magic. It's potent stuff, this. There is a whiff of something. I just can't put my finger on it. There is zero streaks. It is not one of those glass cleaners where you chase it around the glass and keep flipping the towel over. It's not one like that. I tried over applying it to try and get it to do something and it wouldn't. It just kept cleaning. And yes, it takes off grubby finger marks and grease and grime. It doesn't smear them all around the panels into the corners of the glass like other glass cleaners can do. One of the worst areas on this vehicle was the tailgate. In fact, the mechanic said we didn't realize it had glass in the back. It was so shiny. I think they thought it was a mirror. So the biggest test for me with glass cleaners is always going to be the windscreen or windshield if you're in the US. Getting those horrible lines you end up with. Didn't actually get that with this at all. Yes, that is a genuine grin on my face. Unless of course I've got very, very bad wind. Which could have been the scotch eggs I had earlier. And the paracetamol. And then the LucasAid. Mmm, heartburn. Ow! That's it, back to the Pratt Cave. Okay, short and sweet this one. What do I actually think about the Built Hamber Touchless and what do I think about the Traceless Glass Cleaner? Well, first of all, we're gonna talk about the Touchless product. Now, if you use this in a foam cannon, according to the interweb, via several videos on YouTube, 200 mil to 250 mil, and then top it up with water in your snow foam cannon. Now, obviously you're gonna dilute the product heavily. Yes, it's convenient to use it in one of these. It's far quicker. If you're run and gun and on the go, just wanna get the job done, don't wanna muck about pumping one of these things up. The uh, IK sprayer then go with this version, but obviously you're gonna use a lot more products. So this is less cost effective in my opinion. Yeah, it still works, but also, in my opinion, this had the edge in cleaning power. I don't know, because it, obviously you're not diluting it. Uh, I actually only used 12 mil of product in this, and I filled this up to the one litre mark. Now, according to my dear friend David Walker in his video, he's got 590 mil of water to 10 mil of product. 
So I've actually diluted this even further and it still knocked it out of the park. So it's a very, very economical product if you use it in one of these. Now you don't have to use a sprayer. If you wanna go the foaming route, you can use one of these. This is the IK Foamer 2. This is the one with the, uh, the valve on the top and you can pump this up either by a foot pump, you know, bike pump, or if you've got an air compressor, chuck one of them on, you can use it, you know, as a foamer. But in this, it's a killer, absolutely brilliant. Really, really good product. It is quite um, chemically, even a blocked up hooter like mine, um, which I've still got a lingering cold, um, you could still smell it, which is kind of a good thing because you think, well, if it smells quite strong, it must be doing something. And boy, did it do a lot. Six, seven minutes, I think we had it on the car, you know, moving the camera around, that sort of thing. Really, I suppose, five minutes if you want to be, you know, really accurate. And obviously don't do this in the sun. Now, there is, the sun did come around on the side of the car when we were doing it with the Canon, but it wasn't really warm. You know, we're still in March. It's hardly uh, summertime yet. So that was the pre-wash. Absolutely brilliant. I love it. I am going to get some. And you can get it in five litre form. Um, I'll put a link where you can get it from underneath the video. Before I move on to the next product, if this isn't enough, YouTube, check out the Spec and Paul Talk Detailing Podcast. We're into our fourth season this year. We're getting different guests on. Uh, we try and vary it. Me and Specky talking about detailing. We get interactions with you guys. Um, you can send me DMs on my Instagram as well. Check out the Instagram. Get in touch. Anyway, move along to the traceless glass cleaner. Now, I've mentioned this before about Harry Potter stuff. And this is, this is like the dark arts. I, when you get a glass cleaner and it flashes off really quick, there's normally that potent stench of alcohol-based chemicals. You know, it's got alcohol and you think, oh, wow, it's like blooming moonshine. Really, don't ask me how I know about that. Don't ask me. Homebrew, years ago, my dad. Uh, not that he made moonshine, he made real ale. I'm getting off, to, getting off topic again, Paul, talking about booze. Anyway, this stuff is fantastic. It flashes like you wouldn't believe. And where I noticed it came into its own was when I was doing the windscreen of the Nissan Note. You normally you get those streaks and it's horrible and it's nasty. Didn't use the waffle towel because I found it in the box at the end and I'd finished filming. What a plonker. But you do get this, I believe, with a, a towel. Well, Paul did in his kit. So it's up to you if you were to use a waffle towel, glass cleaning cloth. I had the Auto Bright one on the day and it didn't leave any streaks. It flashes like you wouldn't believe. It doesn't disappear as in, doesn't do its job. Once it's done its job, it's, it's out of there, it's gone. Definitely gonna get some of that. So overall, brilliant. You know, my introduction or reintroduction into Bill Hambler, should I say. I'm going back years when I use Bill Hambler. Don't ask me why, it's just time has caught up with me and I've had all this other stuff I've been using. So you're gonna see him back on the channel. Overall, really, really imp impressed. I do understand there's fans of Built Hamber and I know that there's many YouTubers out there who do a lot of stuff with Built Hamber. It's no wonder, you know, it's good stuff. Um, so yeah, well done, well done Built Hamber. So you will see some more of this on the channel. Probably see this stuff behind me as well. This is gonna be coming as well. This is the Auto Glim range, the new range. You're gonna see that coming very soon in another video. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. Stick your thumbs up. Not down, Paul, what's wrong with you? Stick your thumbs up, check out the podcast, interact with the channel, put your comments down. And also, thanks very much. I have turned 53 very recently, and thanks for all your DMs on Instagram. Anyway, I'm gonna go and put the kettle on. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Ta-ra.